What's better than the new Stardust Dragon? How about the old one? What is up guys? We are back with another epic video. Today we're opening both new Stardust packs and old Stardust packs. So we have 12 Dawn of Majesty. So that's half a booster box, but then the really exciting part. Four the Duelist Genesis Special Editions. This is going to be an epic battle between the newest set in Yu-Gi-Oh, which is Dawn of Majesty, also known as Yawn of Majesty, Dawn of Tragedy, whatever you want to call it, with the Starlight Stardust versus the original set where Ghost Rare Stardust was released, as well as Ultimate Rare Stardust and Ultra Rare Stardust, the Duelist Genesis. Before we start that, we have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away the Odin Father of the Acer from Storm of Ragnarok and the Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode from Crimson Crisis. We pulled these against Yugi Mo, so they are packed fresh. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to win. Do you want the Starlight Stardust to show up or the Ghost Stardust to show up in the battle? Let me know and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Speaking of that, go check out the community tab. Make sure you didn't miss where you want to give away because that's where I announce them. And a lot of you guys do not realize that, so go check it out. Also, this Saturday, we are opening a first edition Flaming Eternity Hobby Box. Yeah, we could get that Ultimate Rare Sacred Phoenix. There's a ton of epic Ultimate Rares in here. But obviously, the one we are really going for is that Sacred Phoenix. So this could be really, really awesome opening. I'm expecting... To pull something good okay i'm not really but i hope we pull something good so if you guys are excited about that one let me know in the comments um we're gonna be doing it this saturday so it'll be up then it's gonna be pretty awesome okay so this is how we're gonna do this we're gonna do it as if these were special editions so we're gonna open up three of these then a special edition of the duelist genesis and so on and so forth okay let's start off with these three packs dawn of majesty can you imagine if we actually pulled another starlight stardust after how many we what a start oh my goodness we got the sushi ship we have a completely bent card on the back and we got a despian q that's what i'm gonna call him the despian q this is actually one of the best ultra rares in the set pretty good start for the new side in the battle new versus old it's 2000 and what is it 2008 8 2008 2008 versus 2021 so uh sounds weird when you say 2021 and said 2021 when you would never say 2008 before, but you said 2008. I don't know. It's interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that. You say 2021 or 2021. Let me know. Okay. Chronomaly. We've got another Chronomaly. All right. The Dimer. B Trooper Armor Horn. That's a super rare. We've got some links. So uh, I can guarantee you this. There will be links in these packs and there will not be links in the other packs. So yeah, I know. That was... I don't even know. Was that even a joke? I, I don't know. I don't think that was really a joke. So that's about as bad as it gets. We've got the, uh, this guy reminds me of that, uh, Pokemon dude with the thing on it. Yeah, never mind. Despian Tragedy. Maybe you know what I, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So at this point, I've lost all of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. It's time for what we're, what we've all been waiting for. The Duelist Genesis Special Edition. Inside. Three Duelist Genesis packs and one of two Super Rare Variant cards. So we opened every Special Edition the other day. This was one of them. Uh, we had a crazy pull out of it. If you have not seen that video, it's up there in the eye. Long video, but totally worth it. It was really awesome. I put in a ton of work for it. It seems like everyone who watched it really liked it. So that is what I'm. That is what I like to hear at least. So whenever uh, you know, whenever you guys like it, you know, let me know. I appreciate that. All right. So every Special Edition worked out pretty well. Let's see if it can work out even better here. Because I have never personally pulled, like, for myself, a Stardust Dragon Ultimate Rare or Ghost Rare. Didn't we pull? We pulled someone an Ultimate Rare recently. So uh, the promos will not count because there is no promos for Dawn of Majesty, but there is a Gladiator Beast Heraclinos, which is a pretty cool card. All right, three packs. Uh, we're looking at a 1 in 288 chance per pack to pull the Ghost Rare, which is pretty low. But uh, it's not as low as the Starlight Stardust, so it's actually a little better chance there. The Ultimate Rare, I don't really have a ratio for it. Probably easier, but, you know, you never know. They are pretty hard to pull. I've only pulled one. Ghost Rares, we've never pulled the Stardust. So let's go. We got the Beast of the Pharaoh. Junk Barrage. Fish Step Charge. Small Beast. Small Peace Golem. So inside, we want to pull the, obviously, all the versions of Stardust. There is the, um, what is that guy called? The uh, Charge of the Light Brigade, the Red Dragon Archfiend Ultimate Rare. There's the Goyo Guardian Ultimate Rare. I've never pulled that. That would be really cool. Mind over matter. So the first one, oh, 
There's a super rare right after. We got the broken blocker with the big shield gardener. I almost gave away another big shield gardener from DV1 in this video. That would have been perfect. Broken blocker, a super rare right off the bat. That is a that's good for the battle. We've got battle tuned. Oh, wait, that's wrong, wrong set. Two more packs of this special edition. Let me know if you guys like these new versus old videos. I did them back in the day, like like a year and a half ago, which is not really the day, but you know, for the YouTube channel, it's back in the day, because we've only been around for, you know, been around for like four years, but really like two. Beast of the Pharaoh. We've got a Genus Lightsworn Mender. Orb of Yasaka. Psyche Commander. Okay, Mind Over Matter. Okay, last time we got this rare, and then after it was a foil, so. Sorg? Sword of Kusanagi. I am struggling right now. The Sorg of Kusanagi. That sounds like Zork, but like a sword. Third pack of the first special edition battle out of four. We've got a Turbo Booster. It's like a booster pack. Oh, there's a Ruxin special. We got a tricky spell for Psychic Commander. Wait. Oh, I thought that was a foil. Dr. Cranium. I was like, what? Okay. Telekinetic Charging Cell. I'm pretty sure it's always going to be after the rare. Not totally sure. Let's find out. Silent Strider. Okay. We don't really know because we only pulled one foil there. So one foil for both to start. Well, they're all foils, but one Ultra versus one foil. Next three packs. You know what would be crazy? Both Stardust. Or all Stardust. Ultra Rare, Ultimate Rare, Ghost Rare, Starlight. <laughs> all of them in one 24-pack opening. Yeah, that would not be crazy. That would be insane. Okay, we got a Shari, a Kambaro, Alien Stealth Buster. He looks like Wolverine. Got them Wolverine claws. Flying Red Carp. Okay. Live Twin Sunny Snitch. All right, we got a Super Rare. Just a Super Rare. Two more packs. Two more packs. Two more packs. Here we go. Springin's Interluder. Gukin's Sushi Ship. Despia Theater of the Branded. Glacier Aquamador. The Aquamador Retrain. Very weird. Ooh, and a Synchro Overtake. We've got a Secret Rare. That's a good pull. That's a good pull. I think this one's one of the ones that's over $10. So it's a very solid pull. Definitely putting the Dawn of Majesty in the lead. Okay. Baby Mud Dragon, Masters Diplomat, and Sambo. All right, one more. Honestly, if if Starlight was pulled over like End Ghost, Starlight's harder to pull. It's worth more, but I would have to call it like a tie because we've never pulled the Ghost. Or I I don't know. Let me know what would you think would win. Even though Starlight's more, it's actually harder to pull. But the Ghost is older, so I don't know. Aquamanor. We got the Jar of Generosity. Two Toads with one Sting. Lower Swallow and. The B Trooper Formation. Okay, just a B Trooper Formation. On to the next special edition. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Oh, wait. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Let's get ourselves an Ultimate Rare, a Ghost Rare, a Secret Rare. It is so tough to pull Secret Rares out of this set. Every time I open this set, I don't get a Secret Rare, except Charge of the Light Brigade. I think that might be the only one we've ever pulled. I can't remember pulling another one. Maybe, like, one other one. We've pulled a few Ultimate Rares. It's a lot harder to pull Secrets for some reason. I don't know if it actually is, but it feels like it is. Three more packs. Here we go. Let's do this. Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon. The ultimate goal. One of the coolest Ghost Rares, if not the coolest Ghost Rares. And you guys know I'm a huge Ghost Rare fan. We got the Orb of Yasaka. Genesis yet again. Psychic Rejuve. Yamato no Kami. Remember when we pulled this like seven times? And... Junk Barrage. All right, we got the Recycling Batteries. I've opened a lot of the Duelist Genesis at this point. I wonder if we've opened enough for Ratio. I bet we have at this point. Because we have done a lot of openings. We've opened a couple booster boxes. We've opened some special edition. I think one or two of those full special edition boxes. Some loose ones. We've got the uh, the Dark. The Dark Charmer is actually a good card. We'll pull that out. Oyster Meister. We've got the uh, Needlebug Nest. Medium Piece Golem. Mind Master, and will this be it? Gear Town! I think that's a decent card too, but it's just a Gear Town. We've got the Domino Effect. The halfway point of the Duelist Genesis. This is the 6th pack out of 12. Junk Barrage. We've got a Beast of the Pharaoh. Lightwave Tuning. Dark the Dark Charmer, that's a good one. Telekinetic Charging Cell. 
and a psychic rejuvenation. Okay, nothing in those. So the uh, the new is definitely taking the lead right now. Next three, we're on to the second half. Not gonna lie, they had us in the first half. That's what uh, Duelist Genesis is saying, but they're about to pull the, the Stardust Dragon, so it's all good. We have Despia Theater, Dimmer, Th Dimmer Synthesis. That was not the mic this time. That was just me getting stuck. Converging Will's Dragon, Dino Wrestler Iguadraca, Iguanodraca. All right, two more packs. Stardust Dragon, the first ever 5D's Ghost Rare. There were a couple in GX before that, but the first 5D's Ghost Rare, iconic card for you, say. Let's pull one. It's a very cool looking card, too. You got to give it that. Digusto Lamp Lampilka. Okay, all right. Final pack here until we go to, you know, the last three, but final of these three Glacier Aquamador, Different Dimension Derby. We got the Jar of Generosity, Dispat. Dispatch Parazi. Ooh, and another Ultra Rare Dis Dramaturge of Despia. That is another, I think this is actually the best Ultra. So we pulled the two best Ultras and a good secret. So that is a pretty good start for those. Third special edition. We're going to need some luck with this one. Because right now, I think that the new side has like $20 in value. While the special edition only has the broken blocker and two... That's loud. And they have two Dark to Dark Charmers, which are maybe like a couple dollars. So we're looking at like four or five bucks total for this side. We have the uh, Eradicator Epidemic Virus. Three packs. So we are down quite a bit on the old school side. Or at least the 5D side, which is old school at this point. I mean, 13 years ago is when this came out. Which is insane. We have Beast of the Feto. Genesis yet again. Orb of Yusaka. We've seen this movie before. Psychic Commander. Grapple Blocker. Will this be it? So far, just one foil. Let's go. Space Gate. All right. Okay. Two more packs on this third special edition. Come on. Come on. Let's break the streak. We got a remote revenge. Psychic Snail. Medium Peace Golem. At least it's not all the same comments. Junk Baraj. Herald of the Orange Light. That's like a $5 card, so that's going to help in the battle. I thought that was two cards for a second. Herald of the Orange Light. That's a good one. Ganogo. That... Are these like... There's like little dots in here. There's like junk in here somehow. All right. That's weird. There's all these little like dots. That's strange. I can feel them. It's like, it's like rolling around on the card. That is strange. Okay. That's, that's weird. I've never seen that before. Final pack of the third special edition looks like it's about 20 to 10 i would guess in terms of value so we're gonna need something here come on ultimate rare ghost rare secret rare that's what we're looking for oh look Genesis the light sworn mender what was after this orb of yasaka oh psychic rejuvenation okay do they not go in the same order junk badage we've seen a lot of Genesis, though i know that beast of the pharaoh mind over matter we've definitely seen this guy before Mecha Bunny. Okay, on to the fourth round. Fourth quarter. That's where it matters. We got to clutch up. Three more packs of Dawn of Majesty. They're already in the lead. Are they going to try and ice the game, run out the clock, or are they just going to go for the kill? Let's see. We have Despia. Dimmer Synthesis. Needed a different Dimension Derby. Converging Wheels Dragon. Anti-human intelligence. Another secret rare, but that's, this may be the worst secret rare in the set. Actually, no, there's one worse. One of the worst secret rares, but it is a secret rare. I think it's like around $4. So that just adds on to the cause. Adds on to the cause. Two more packs. Woo, this is not looking good for the uh, the ghost rare side. Or aka the duelist genesis. We got springins. Sue ship. Despia theater. Despian Proskinian. Okay. And the final pack for Dawn of Majesty, Dawn of Tragedy, Yawn of Majesty, whatever you want to call it. Let's go. Despian Tragedy. Magic Key Unlocking. Glacier. Two Toads. Tindangle. That. Whatever that says. I don't know. Final Special Edition. Let's see what is inside. I think the score, I by my ballpark guess, 24 
to 10 right now. Something like that. So in here, we're going to need like three Herald of the Orange, Light My Tie It Up, um, a, some sort of decent Ultimate Rare, Secret Rare. Obviously, the Ghost Rare would win it. Yeah, but we're going to need something pretty good. Oh, and another card in here, Emergency Teleport, Ultra Rare would win it. I didn't even think about that. And then it comes in Ultimate Rare as well, I believe. So those would be huge pulls. Three more packs. Look how like bent these are. It's crazy. All right. Yeah, but I bought these as, as damage. So it kind of makes sense that they're a little bit beat up. Oh, let's be careful. Don't damage the cards myself. All right. Destruct Ultra. Damage, destruct. Okay. All right. Dr. Cranium. Mirror of Yada. Dark the Dark Charmer. That's good. It's going to add a couple bucks to our total. Grapple Blocker. And here we go. Cobalt Hedgehog. All right, just, just a regular common. Two more packs. About 24-12 is my guess right now. 24-12. Keeping track of the score on my own to see, you know, if we can come back. We got a medium piece goal. Fish Step Charge. Thigh Impulse. Structure Tron again. Desynchro. Twin Shield Defender. I couldn't tell if that was a hollow or not. One hollow so far. Not looking too good. All right, the final pack. So far, it's been rough on the Duelist Genesis side, but this one pack can make up for everything. All it needs is a gusher. Here we go. To, to win the battle, to win our hearts. Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay. Wait, this feels skinny for some reason. That's probably not a good sign. Sword of Kusanagi. Medium Peace Golem. Junk Barrage, we got a Remote Revenge, Grapple Blocker, and Gear Town, another common, okay, that was pretty rough, guys, that was pretty rough, let's go over what we did get, from the Duelist Genesis, even though these promos didn't count, we did get three Heraclinos and one Epidemic Virus, we've got three Dark the Dark Charmer, we got a couple of Gear Town, we got a Herald, that was the best pull, and a Broken Blocker, so not a lot out of those 12 packs. Then for our Dawn, we actually did incredible, like uh, nearly box ratio. We got the uh, two Despian Ultra Rares, which are the best two Ultra Rares. We've got the Art and Human Intelligence, which is I like, called like something insane the first time I read it. But uh, that's not a great secret, but it's still a secret. And then the Synchro Overtake, which is a pretty good one. So the Dawn of Majesty definitely won this battle, unfortunately. Maybe we will pull that Ghost or Stardust at some point. You're going to have to get more packs because those are actually kind of hard to find, even unlimited. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it this Saturday. Don't forget to check out the Flaming Eternity Booster Box hobby. It's going to be pretty awesome. And if you missed last Saturday's special edition opening, check it out on the eye. And that's it for this one. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!